fear been getting the best of you lately? You feel like a teapot just brewing with pressure and tension. <gasps> it can be so overwhelming. Let's do something about it. Hey you, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, your Law of Attraction Mindset Coach. And on this channel, you can find everything on Law of Attraction, manifesting, energy work, and self-development tips. <sighs> That was a lot, I'm out of breath, but I appreciate you being here and tuning in with me because it shows your commitment to yourself and the inner work that you are doing. So take this moment to thank yourself for this action step that you are taking. And if you feel called to, at the end of this video, share with a loved one because when you're growing and when you resonate with the content we will be talking about today, it will also resonate with your loved ones and the ones around you. And when we all begin to grow and level up, we are thriving as a collective. So how amazing is that? Also, before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells oh that was coco my cat if you are a cat a dog lover let me know in the comments below so like i was saying don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notification bells so every single week when i upload a new video you will be the first to know so there are so many reasons we experience fear it can be fear of failure fear of success fear of rejection or fear of failure if you know what kind of fear you're experiencing let me know in the comments below i would love to hear so we can normalize this emotion of fear so no matter what kind of fear you are experiencing it all comes down to the unknown we don't know how a new experience will influence or affect us and as uncomfortable as this may be it is so important that we can acknowledge this emotion and sensation when we are experiencing being aware of this emotion and how it feels within your body in addition to what beliefs grows from this feeling simply gives you more insight on yourself and how you operate ultimately empowering you because you fully understand yourself and what this emotion is trying to tell you. Even allowing you to understand if this belief that you're also experiencing because of the fear, if it's actually your belief, or if it's a belief you have adopted from society, from your parents, from your culture, these conditioned beliefs that we subconsciously adopt and carry with us throughout our life. And also talking about these conditioned beliefs and noticing how these heavy feelings like fear feel in our body. I have some exciting news coming up in June 2021. So if you're feeling curious about learning more about what is to come, give me a follow on Instagram. My user handle is below in the description box. So before I explain today's art activity, let's talk a little bit more about fear and start to change our narrative around it. Okay, so I want you to view your fear as a little pebble that is stuck under your shoe. You feel it instantly, you know it's uncomfortable, and it might even make it a little bit difficult to walk. Maybe you don't have the time to stop and take it out of your shoe. Nonetheless, you're still able to walk forward towards your destination. Now, I want you to think about your desires and your goals that you wish to manifest. You want the road to be easy and smooth, but then when we hit a bump on the road and we feel that little pebble under our shoe, that's when we start to feel the fear and other heavy emotions emotions and sensations creep up. Our biological makeup then kicks in and you may even find yourself in flight or fight mode, wanting to absolutely run away from your goals, distracting yourself, whether it be binging on TV or just consuming content that is not aligned to your higher self and the goal that you are achieving. Or maybe taking out this overwhelming and fear and all the sensations that you're feeling on a loved one because it's easier to do that than look within. And if you can hear that and if you've been there before, leave some little hands up emojis in the comments below. We've almost been taught to view fear as this obstacle that is going to hinder our growth, but in reality, you are the only one that can hinder your growth. By feeding into the fear or whatever heavy emotion is holding you back. But today, we're talking about fear. And you experiencing fear as you're starting something new, trying something new, going after something you've always wanted can be scary, of course, because of that unknown factor. But fear is ultimately a part of the process, a part of the journey that we go on to achieve our goal. 
And once you view fear as an assistant only trying to help you make those breakthroughs, the fear can no longer control you. Amazing. What happens when you begin to change your narrative and view these heavy emotions, viewing the fear as something beneficial to the inner work. So with that being said, let's create a visual representation of this process. When you're on your journey, you can see where you are, where you want to go and what you want to achieve. But it's that middle part that makes you feel fearful because you don't know what action steps are needed, what exactly you need to do to get to the end result that you want. So we get stuck and we feed into the fear. And this middle part of your journey is when trusting and surrendering to the process comes into play. But you might be thinking, but yeah, I know that Brie, but how can I do that if I'm scared? And you know the fear is getting in the way. I know, I know, I've been there myself. But that's why you are here today to do something different and that's why I created this video to help you and to teach you what has been working for me. Also, don't forget to set the tone light a candle or put on some incense to create the type of vibe you want to create in and also grab yourself something warm to drink to activate your heart chakra whether that be a tea coffee or cacao and allow your intuition to pick what type of material you want to work with today so if you feel called to close your eyes if you want but i want you to take this moment to visualize the place where you feel most calm at peace and safe now that you have a vision in mind i want you to imagine yourself walking in this place where you're able to see what is ahead of you but what you see ahead of you will still take you some time to actually get there now i want you to draw what exactly came up for you what was the place you were in and what is the path that you were walking down as you draw this calm place in the path that you visualized, I want you to see a light at the end of the tunnel. And throughout this drawing, I want you to affirm, it is okay to feel what I feel. I embrace and welcome the feeling knowing that I can trust myself, my desires, and my action steps. And as you repeat this, if any other affirmation comes to mind, speak it. This is your chance to use all your senses to begin reprogramming your subconscious and view fear as a friend. So maybe you might say, fear is a part of the process. I am safe to trust myself. Now that you've finished, I recommend that you journal about how this creative, expressive, and physical represent representation of your journey felt. And also noticing how your relationship with your fear now feels. Beginning to create your own narrative around fear and how fear is your friend. Because not all of our narratives about fear and our relationship with it will look the same because we're different people completely and we're all unique and we all need to use our own natural language and our own perspective about ourselves and our emotions to disconnect, to then reconnect with ourselves. Feel free to hang this drawing up anywhere in your home or even take a picture of it and save it as the wallpaper on your phone. So you can always see it when you start to feel that fear start creeping up to ground yourself and remind yourself that fear is just a part of the process that you are overcoming. So let me know in the comments below or even feel free to message me on Instagram or email me and let me know how this activity went for you and how the release felt. I look forward to hearing from you and chatting and once again, thank you so much for tuning in and live abundantly with love and gratitude. Let's spread the knowledge learned today and share this video.